Yeah, buddy. Living color right there. Little cult of personality. Speaking of two gentlemen that have uh, some very good cult of personality, I think you both have cult of personality. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> you flatter me. Sir. Ah, there you go. The uh, brothers Patrick are in the building from otherwise. My man Adrian, my man Ryan. Big smooth. What's Big up, smooth. guys? Oh, my God. It's been, we were talking about this, and I'm telling you, it's been since 2014 since we've seen each other. Man, that's insane, dude. I'm I, telling that you. That can't be right, dude. I, can't, I mean. Maybe like, 2015? But like I was saying, you and I stay in pretty good contact, yeah. but but maybe that's why it, it, it doesn't feel that long. But right. You don't look, you dude. You look, you look great, bro. You, I, you, I don't, you don't feel look great, like you're ten years older, I appreciate man. it. It's the red beard. I don't you have that good. much white hair in there. You yeah, look good. yeah, you're lucky, man. You look, you look good, bro. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, the, uh, we'll talk about the 2014. We'll talk about the last time we seen each other because <laughs> I don't remember much. I had to have it repieced to me. Yep. Back. Yeah, back. It was it was a rough day. That was a rough day. <laughs> Those are the uh, best stories. The ones you have to be retold. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, explain that one to me. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Uh, but you guys are in town tonight at the Lost yes, with sir. the boys from Adelaide's way, and it's funny. The last time that uh, I saw you guys was they were the headliner of the show. Uh, was that that was awesome? back in the day, yeah. Wow, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Th- you know, it's awesome to be on the road with them. Uh, we've known Rick, you know, for almost 20 Vegas years Vegas boys, now. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Rick, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, the first show he ever played, he opened for us in Vegas. Awesome. When we were, like, just before we signed and all that stuff. And, um, man, that whole crew... The guys in above uh, above snakes and moon fever, they're also on the tour package. Mm-hmm. Everybody on that on this run is just it's this it package feels, has just been awesome. Yeah, it's like family, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really a bunch cool. of dudes who just want to rock and help. Each I, love other. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, because we I mean you don't see that you know as much. Maybe a little more now than in the past, but you know what I'm saying? No, not so much now either. When, when we were coming up, it was all band battles and competition and yeah. F this guy and yeah, F yeah. that guy and and then us, a lot of the tours we've been on now that we're professionals. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> They're, 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 it, it's, it's kind of like a, you know, you, you know, get out of our way kind right. of a vibe. But with like on this yeah. run, it's been like, like I said, family, dude. Awesome. So here's the deal. You guys are going to play a couple tunes for us. Uh, we're going to hang. We're live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash KROCK. We're live on TikTok at Big Smoothie KROCK. We're live on your guys' is, is that IG? Uh, Facebook, baby. Facebook. Facebook Live. That's our Facebook Live, man, I think. Yeah. I like it. I like it. All right, we're going to play this tune, a couple, uh, couple tunes here, and then we'll be right back. It's a little disturbed now with the sickness. We'll see them this summer at the stamp. Foo Fighters. That is the new one from those guys right there. It's called Rescued. I'll be honest with you. I don't know that they put out a bad song. Dude. It's, you know what I'm saying? Even their bad ones are way better than most. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> like they've done so much music that yeah. I mean, there's some of it you're like, ah, that's all right. But I don't know if they really put out something that you're just like, that is complete trash. Right, and it's dude, they they are they're legends, bro. They're they are. Legends. They are 100 percent legends. There's no doubt about it. The boys from otherwise here, the brothers Patrick in the building, Ryan and Adrian, and uh, uh, we have known each other since 2010. God, was that the first show that you guys played? No, I would say probably 2012. But, but, is yeah, that about, about 2012? 2012? Okay. Mm-hmm. We released uh, True Love Never Die. Actually, yesterday. You just put that. I saw the post. I saw it. Yeah. yeah man. Yeah. Um, wild, man. But unless we, you, Mayhem Fest, when we toured the one song with uh, In This Moment, that was 2010. That was 2010. That's yeah. the first time I met you. Yeah. Because yeah. you was were at with, the Lost. Yeah, that was at the Lost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. And then the second time came around, it was up in Oswego. At, yeah, at dude, the track, at the speedway. Yeah, 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 it's a crazy story about that because we played in twenty, we, like twenty twelve at that May. Uh, not, not that one was Trespass America mm-hmm. with, with Death Punch, and it was in Oswego. And, yep. and and then I end up meeting my wife a year later, and she, her whole family's from Oswego. Yeah. You, know, like, you know, so that's one of those moments in my my career and personal life where it's like, that's are just, they all coming tonight? They, I believe boys the, too. I believe the wife and the kids might come. Ah, maybe, right. maybe it's a school night, but that's... wait, no, it's not. They're off tomorrow. Dad's man. a rock star. Oh. Listen, Dad's a rock star. We're going to the show, all right? <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah, tell their mom that for me. Yeah, I, will, okay. I got you. I got right. you. Yeah, like, listen, so Dad's cute. a rock star. It's so cute. Yesterday we went bowling, and then uh, the oldest nephew, Adigan, he was talking. I guess the guy at the bowling alley started playing an otherwise song. Yeah. yeah. And then he, Adigan was re- describing it. He's like, he played our song in the bowling alley. <laughs> and no, he no, said no. our song. I was like, that's yeah. right. That's right. I like that's it. Right. I like yeah. it. Who taught you well? Who yeah. taught you He's well? He's got copyright. He's like, our song. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. So we're going to play a tune here. And then uh, we got a couple tunes. You're going to play one here. And then we're going to commercials and come back for another cool, one. Man. What is uh, What are we doing here, bro? This one's uh, this one's called A New Way to Hate. Off our, our latest release, Godzillionaire. And it's just kind of about all the hate out there right now. All right. Whenever you are ready.
Light another fire with your politics and sex. Burn another effigy, a photo of your ex. Love all of your enemies and lie to all your friends. For some it's the beginning, but for most it's the end. The world keeps preaching, keeps teaching me a new way to hate, a new way to hurt, a new way to reach down and dig up the dirt, a new way to lose, a new way to fake. So what will you choose, this vicious cycle to break, or a new way to hate? Your part to pay into this sick society. No namaste, just make a way for more anxiety. Start a new religion so you control the crowd. Pick a side, it's do or die, the others going down. World keeps preaching, keeps teaching me a new way to hate, a new way to hurt. A new way to reach down and dig up the dirt. A new way to lose, a new way to fade. So what will you choose, this vicious cycle to break? Or a new way to hate? I got a new way to hate. A new way to hate. Down in the dirt, a new way to wake up, live with the hurt. A new way to hate, a new way to hurt, a new way to reach down and dig up the dirt. A new way to lose, a new way to fade. So what will you choose, this vicious cycle to break? Or a new way to hate I got a new way to hate Yeah, I like that right there oh, Thank you, sir I like it Thank you, man We're trying to like, you know We never consider ourselves like a political band by any means But yep. on this latest release The entire album has a lot of socio-political economic commentary on it you know it's like i'm tired of writing about ex-girlfriends but you you write stuff you, you know? write what you feel though yeah do you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. it's not like you know that's and that's a lot of what's happened in the world today i've never think i've never thought that i would see uh myself included in this so much because i never cared about politics yeah i hated politics yeah, i yeah. still kind of hate politics yeah, you know what i mean? still hate politics but absolutely you pay so much more attention to all of the things that are happening around you now yeah. than you ever used to yeah and, and it's mostly because of what, what what aggravates us the most is the divisiveness that is being caused right now you yeah know, you can't you can't disagree with someone and still no. be their friend anymore no. you know it's like what yeah. like what no. is going on man yeah you know? oh. like, Dude, there's so many times uh, in, in 2020 in the pandemic, and I know I talked to Rye like uh, when it all happened and Vegas shut down. Because when it, when Vegas shuts down, you, you know, know it's for real, yeah. right? If Vegas you know, like, or Waffle House shuts down, it's it's for real. Things are getting serious. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's 100 percent serious. <laughs> like I need my waffles. Uh, but just like in it, in the way things just turned, it was just yeah. it was gross. It, man. Yeah, it got pretty ugly, man. And hopefully, I don't know. Sometimes I think that maybe there's hope, and then other times I'm like. Man. I feel like it's coming back around, though. You know what I mean? There's I hope got, so. There's, there's got to be hope, dude. We just got to shine brighter. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And, uh, and I think I think we can make it through. But I think there will be some tougher yeah. times ahead. Yeah. For sure. But moments like this and moments with the people who come out to our shows and talk about the music and all the shows that are going on, you know, there's still a lot of positive stuff out there, man, to combat that that evil. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I will tell you this. Uh, you gentlemen, which is funny because... We, you know, we've been friends. We we chat a lot. Uh, this is my first official cherry popping of having a band live in studio. What? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Can we do hugs? We're we we hugging out. Can we kiss? Can we kiss? Can we kiss? Oh, that's it's. I mean, it's can it's we true. Kiss? Like maybe later. Uh, yeah, maybe can later. We don't make it out later. Are we docking? Check. Uh, <laughs> are we docking? <laughs> uh, but yeah, because 2020 happened. I got full time the beginning of uh, 2020 and pandemic and right. People weren't torn, and now you, 
you know, we have the amphitheater and all that, but we don't get to do as many uh, interviews and stuff like that. So, dude, this is awesome, man. Yeah. We're proud Just to be here. Dude, another know. chapter in our friendship. That's man. it. This That's is it. great, man. Uh, we do well. Anyway, uh, we're going to take a little commercial break. We're going to come right back. The boys from Otherwise in the House. That is cut the line for you, my friends, here on a uh, Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. And the voice from otherwise. Ooh, we love are, them are tacos. In the, are in the building right now. Taco Tuesday. Uh, how tacos. about that? So you guys come in. Uh, before we get into that, where's the best place you ever got a taco from? Oh, hey. Oh, no. ah, ah, see, because you guys, you guys have been there. <laughs> What's can't the best? say it on air. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a specific place in Vegas to get the good tacos? Oh, there's lots of them. <laughs> uh, I have no doubt. Uh, this is the best one is, um, I know it's not Vegas, but uh, when the Bunny Ranch one, what's his name? Was alive? Dennis Hoff is alive. Um, he used to have Dennis on the show all the time. Really? So really? Dennis said, hey, we do a party, September, I'll fly you out, I'll pay for everything, we'll put you up, tell your wife. So I said, Bridge, I'm like, Bridge, he's going to bring us out there. He wants to bring you too. I'm not going. So I, I call her live on the air <laughs> with him on the air. And she's like, hi. <laughs> wow. And he's like, hey, he's like, come on. Listen, I'll pay for you guys to come out. All expenses paid. No problem. I'll take care of you. He can. The girls will take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, no, that's not happening. Yeah, that's, I'm not. Done. She's like, no, no, no. That's not happening. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, but dang, what a free vacation. Yeah. yeah. But, Oh man, there's a, dude, there's a there's a really good taco place somewhere nearby here. I can't... Margarita's right down the street. Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that place. And is then awesome. uh, Ponchitos, right the Ponchitos is the other way. Okay, Ponchitos is like that gritty, like you know, street taco. street taco, but it's mm-hmm. really like really good. Like yeah, one know. of those places you just kind of discover that's sitting in the back alley somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> except it's not in the back alley. You know what I mean? That we'll kind of place. Check. Okay, we'll have to check that yeah, out. Though. In oh, that's Vegas, good too. there's a place called Lindo Michoican. And that's it's really good. Yeah, all that, that's really some of the best Mexican food really? on the West Coast. I yeah. believe it. Well, I mean, we're talking West Coast. It's kind of kind of, of the course, thing out there. Of course. Uh, so how about that? You guys come in today, and then uh, the boss brings in brand-new head basketball coach, Adrian Autry. Super cool. And uh, J.J. Starling, Tom. Starling, okay? Uh, and then, I've never met the guys. Look that's at that. Crazy. They come in, you guys meet them, I meet them. Get a picture with them. Yeah, yeah how about get that? To wish I almost them dunked good. on them, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I almost took them away from the basketball and didn't play in the studio. <laughs> oh, my God. That's good. No, that was really cool. So, yeah, so in case you got now, Steve, did it just add another thing to the bucket right there. Yeah, man, it's awesome, dude. Who, who is the, who? like, as far as you guys meeting, uh, give, me the, give me the top, give me top three people that you've met Ooh. in this, not just in this business, but, you know, in, in uh, wow. entertainment. I mean, that's you know, I don't know how much time we got smooth because you know growing up where we grew up there was the place is full of yeah, yeah. you know yep. luminaries um, man I'm I guess you know we talked about the Foo Fighters and you know, I know mm-hmm. that's in the rock and roll realm uh, let's see on my twenty did you hang out fourth, with George Clooney my twenty fourth birthday I did a shot of tequila with George Clooney and Brad Pitt oh they, they bought when me. they were doing uh, movies out there or just they, out there they, they were out, yeah they were out there filming like uh, I forget at that oceans, time yeah one of the, the ocean movies and uh, they were just hanging out at this. This we hung at Leonardo DiCaprio's table one night. Yeah, oh, yeah, Marquee that was pretty cool. Cosmo, mm-hmm. um, it was cool. I touched him and he and he got weirded out. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure, like kind of when he was in the aviator, just started scratching himself and sitting <laughs> in there. Like, yeah, met, uh, Israel Adesanya uh, at the yeah, fighters a lot of the award, fighters, the fighters awards. We've been Talked involved with that for cool. a long time, and some of some of those guys are. You meet him and it's just like wow, dude. You know, like Randy Couture. Is, yeah, UFC is coming to right our there. shows yeah, right. and stuff. And yeah. so I mean, I don't know. There's, you know, we get to meet Big Smoothie. Come on. Yeah. Bro. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm like on a totem pole on the bottom end of it. <laughs> I kind of li- like. I was saying to somebody a couple weeks ago. I'm like, I'm like, I kind of live in the gutter. That's kind of my. That's kind of like they're like <laughs> what radio? Yeah, the gutter? I mean, well, kind of. <laughs> might be a little bit. Well, but, rock radio, right? Rock radio. Yeah, yeah. We are definitely not exactly top of the food chain when it comes <laughs> right. to radio. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like, they're like, hey, man, like. You know, and I've done a lot of good things, but like when I always see myself to other people, like I grew up in the hood, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I'm, you know, I went to a hood high school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I played, you know, and and mm-hmm. so I always look at myself different than other people. Obviously, will look at you, and I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm kind of like white trash. All right, <laughs> just, totally honest with you here. <laughs> hey, man, we're, we're I mean we're half white trash. So it, 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 it works. But you guys know how I feel. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, the boys from Otherwise are in the building, man. Tonight at the Lost Horizon, uh, Adelita's Way, and then what's the other two bands? So we've got Above Snakes opening the show, okay. and then we have uh, um, I believe there's actually Moon a band Fever. No, but Kilter. yeah, 
there Filter, is a local, right? a local, local, some local dudes doing good. So uh, I think they're called. My brother said Kilter. Okay. okay. Excuse us if it's wrong. But um, but yeah, come. It should be. Should you know, Lost Horizon, the, the whole crew over there. They 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 know what's up, man. A lot of those guys are musicians. They know, they treat us yeah. so well over there. Yeah, so. they know what they're Jesse doing. from Three yeah. Fat Guys is my company. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, all right. Okay. Well, all so. right. Uh, so you guys are gonna play another tune here. Yes, one more. One what more, are we man. rocking? What are we rocking? That their old dangle stores or something. Ah, right. right. Old dangle. Yeah. All right. And uh, before we start, if we if yes. I can, I hopefully hopefully the wife and kids are listening, and I want to tell them I love them. All right. And to keep fighting the good fight in this yeah. song. This song goes out to everybody at Fort Drum and everybody trying to get a better life for themselves. to strap our boots on this is a perfect day to die wipe the blood out of our eyes in this life there's no surrender there's nothing left for us to do Find the strength to see this through We are the ones who will never be broken With our final breath We'll fight to the death We are soldiers We are soldiers Sing oh Smoothie, we love you, man. K Rock, the whole Q's. Thank you guys for getting behind us and supporting us. It means the world. 315, baby. We stand shoulder to shoulder. We stand shoulder to shoulder. We stand shoulder to shoulder You can't erase us You'll just have to face us We stand shoulder to shoulder We stand shoulder to shoulder Sing it smooth We stand shoulder to shoulder You can't erase us You'll just have to face us Our final breath will fight to the death. We are soldiers, we are soldiers. Say we are the ones who will not go unspoken. Not go unspoken. We will not sleep. We are not sheep. We are soldiers. We are soldiers. 
soldier, six foot four. Oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh. whoa, oh, oh, oh. whoa. Oh, oh, oh. We are soldiers. One more time. Here we go. Oh. That's my brothers right there, man. I appreciate you guys Woo! coming in today. Round of applause smooth singing with us, man. Hey, listen, if I haven't heard and sang that song enough in my life at this point in time, <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, but tonight at the Lost Horizon, of course, these gentlemen, Adley's Way, it's going to be a great show. Uh, doors, I believe, maybe 6.30 I or 7? think 6, between 6 or 7. Yeah, I, think then, it's a, I think it's 6. Yeah, so listen, a full night of rock right here in town. You can't go wrong with that, man. Appreciate you guys for coming in. Appreciate you, you for, for having us, strong, brother. Baby. Absolutely, absolutely. We will see uh, you tonight, hopefully. Little pumpkins rolling a little today now. It's K-Rock.